Hi, this is Dan Smith of DPS Legal Counsel. Welcome to today's video episode where I'm going to be talking about copyrights. And this pertains to uh, all manners of businesses or creative entrepreneurs uh, who, who uh, create uh, content uh, in one form or another, whether it's uh, the written word, whether it's music, whether it's um, um, online uh, courses, whether whatever it is, uh, whether it's webinars, whatever it is, if you have, uh, if you're creating original content uh, that is creative in nature, so that you have uh, taken something that didn't exist before, put it in some kind of tangible format, and uh, there's uh, so basically you have a copyrighted material. This is this video is for you. So, uh, what is copyright? Copyright is essentially an uh, is is an ownership right in uh, the tangible expression of creative material. So it, we cover uh, books, um, uh, music, uh, video, things of that sort, uh, web uh, online courses, uh, anything that you can think of um, that. Uh, uh, you think of as creative uh, in nature, created from uh, uh, you, from you or your business's perspective, and put in some type of tangible or uh, uh, some form that can be uh, accessed, then that you 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 probably have a copyright uh, in that material. Copyrights are very valuable to businesses. Uh, you don't want people infringing your copyrights. And, and essentially, at this, at this point in the, in the law, uh, copyright protection um, extends for 95 years from the date of creation. And so, uh, once you, uh, uh, something comes into uh, uh, effect as, a, as, a cop as copyrighted material, uh, you, your ownership interest uh, is in that material automatically. You don't have to do anything, although I would suggest that it's always advisable to uh, put a copyright notice on anything that uh, you claim copyright in. A copyright notice essentially is, uh, and you've seen it on books and other places, a copyright notice is a little C in a circle and then the, the year of creation. So if you created something and put it out um, this year, you would have the little C in a circle, 2020, and then the name of the copyright owner, which if, if, it's, if you're John Doe, it would be C in a little circle, 2020, John Doe, and then I would suggest putting a period at the end of that and saying all rights reserved, period. So the copyright notice, C in a circle, 2020, John Doe period, all rights reserved period. Put that on there, puts the world on notice you are claiming copyright in that material. You can also um, uh, file your copyrighted uh, material uh, and, and claim your, um, your ownership in it with the Copyright Office in Washington. Um, that is often a good idea if you are really uh, making uh, a commercial uh, trying to make profits from your copyrighted material, if you have online courses, if you have music, th if you have books, things of that sort, uh, you may want to claim copyright at, at the Copyright Office. It's not necessary in order for you to have copyright protection, but it does provide another level of notice to the world, and it does give you the right, if someone infringes on your copyright, to go to federal court to, um, to protect your copyright. Now, if you are interested in um, using materials that are no longer in copyright after the 95 years have passed since creation. Uh, you can do that. Uh, materials that have passed out of copyright protection after the 95 year period are called in the public domain, essentially meaning no one has copyright protection with respect to that material anymore. And every year uh, new material goes into the public domain. Uh, at the beginning of the year. So as of January 1 of 2020, uh, new material has, have gone, has gone into the public domain. The material being that was, which was created in the year uh, 1924, because the 95 years have now run. 
um, one of the most interesting uh, bits of uh, or cr works of creative uh, art that now has gone into the public domain because it was created and the copyright arose in 1924 was Gershwin's famous song um, um, that is Rhapsody in Blue. I, ha I had a moment there where I couldn't remember the title of it, although I could hear the music. Rhapsody in Blue by Gershwin uh, went into the public domain January the 1st of this year. So, if you are a musician or a creator of some kind of online business and you want to use some part or modify some part of that song in your work, now that it's in the public domain, you're free to do that because it's no longer protected by copyright. And a lot of companies will look at what goes into the public domain every year and will take advantage of uh, the, the right uh, the rights that they now have because it, uh, uh, work is in public domain to uh, add their own little tweak or wrinkle to what was once a copyrighted material and then, then market that. So you may have people um, selling copies of books that have gone into to the public domain uh, with whatever annotations or whatever artwork they want to put into that book now. Uh, that that uh, I guess for entrepreneurs who are in that area, this, this is something to keep in mind every year that you have new material to work from, uh, material that is now in the public domain. It's also important for you to know that uh, if you are creating copyrighted material, you want to protect your copyright uh, strongly because uh, copyright is a very valuable asset for many businesses. So make sure you always include the copyright notice on your created material and uh, if it's the type of information or type of material that you really are marketing uh, and you might be subject to infringement by competitors or other people using it, you may want to consider uh, filing your copyright notice, your copyrighted material with the Copyright Office in Washington uh, to get that extra level of notice, that extra level of protection. All right, that's it for today. I hope this helps all you creative entrepreneurs out there. If you have any questions, please feel free to check out my website, dpslegalcouncil.com. Give me a call. Let me know if there's anything I can help with or any questions that you might have. And until next time, we'll see you.